Hi everyone, welcome back to Louis Garage and today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. I've been working on the Lotus Exige so much that today is going to be working on the Alfa Romeo 147 GTA which is going to be a nice change. So what are we going to be doing today? Well, you might notice that my rear badge is looking a little bit faded. I'm pretty sure that's the original rear badge. Uh, there's a little bit of a chip up here as well and some of the water is seeping through underneath the clear coat of the badge and Instead of just replacing this top bit, which is what some people do I'm gonna be replacing the entire badge because you can see um, it's quite dirty in there as well So we might go in and clean it up a little bit while we're there um, Also the side pillar trims as well. It's gonna be in the same episode So these side pillar trims are a bit faded um, and I managed to order some new ones uh, thanks to a bit of a tip off on Facebook So here is the new badge that I've got in my hand. It is an original Alfa Romeo badge um, And it comes in this little box here Made in Poland. Oh, there you go. So whoever made that. Thank you very much um, So I'll take this out and I'll show you the difference So yeah, look at the difference there That's what it's supposed to look like on the left hand side And I suppose that's you know what it looked like when it was brand new and this is what it looks like now So it's definitely uh, time for a bit of a change there Right, so step one, there's going to be four screws that we need to remove, um, two on each side of the rear boot trim here. So just go ahead and remove that and we should be able to pull the boot trim off. And then it's just a matter of putting some pressure on the sides here. And the boot trim should come loose, like that. And then we'll just do that on the other side as well. Alright, so this is what it looks like with the boot trim off. You'll see that right in the middle there, there is a hole and a bolt uh, behind that hole. So this is a 10mm bolt. You just need to grab a 10mm socket with your ratchet and an extension. And we will remove that and uh, get the badge out. pretty loose. Sweet. Awesome and here is the moment of truth. Oh it's a bit crusty under there. Give it a bit of a clean. And there you have it there's the original badge. I'm gonna keep that one um, and then put in the new one. All right so I've given it a really good clean and it's looking minty fresh now. So we're just gonna place the new badge on. Uh, so remember to hold on to the nut uh, that you took off of the old badge because the new one does not come with a new nut so make sure you don't lose that and then it's just a matter of putting the new one in there you have it so there's a few tabs to hold in place while you go and tighten it up at the back so we're going to tighten it up and um, put everything back together and it uh, should look pretty much like new which is great Right, so we're just going to tighten up the bolt for the new badge. Just finger tight, doesn't have to be too tight at all. Cool, that's about as much force as I want to put on there. And then we'll put the uh, trim back on as well. Alright folks, and there you have it, look at that new rear badge! Oh man, that looks insane! That is just awesome and really sets off the whole rear of the car makes it look like it's brand new again So to go along with my new personalized plate, you might have noticed that I have a new rear badge. So that's awesome Wow, just can't stop looking at it <laughs> The, the camera is not doing it justice here. You know, it's it's really really nice. It looks so fresh in real life So definitely a mod or a little fix that's worth doing. It's a little bit expensive to get the badge actually, it's about uh, 60 or 70 New Zealand dollars um, but I think it's totally worth it, you know, that's basically you know, the, the character of the whole car, this, this awesome uh, Alfa Romero badge. Look at that. Alright, so next up we're going to be doing the door pillar trims so I'll take you through how to do that as well. 
Okay, so the side pillar trims. Well, uh, what an interesting design this is. Um, I'm not entirely sure why they designed it like this. Maybe it's a better seal uh, to keep the water and the noise out of the car. Uh, but basically there's two seals, right? So there's the outer seal, which is this one, that sits inside the side pillar trim originally. So this is actually all sitting inside the trim, and then this goes around the outside of the trim, just this little tab here. Um, so that's that's one seal, but you can't even get to that unless you pull off this piece of seal um, that sits inside the glass. So this sits inside the glass, and this sits outside the glass. I guess that's why there's so many seals, right? Because there's one inside and one outside, etc, etc, blah, blah, blah. And once you do that, you can see those screws on the side there. That's what we need um, to remove the side pillar trim. So one thing that I've noticed is that on this side, my door card, um, there's a little bit that's broken here. So I think you have to be really, really careful. I did not do this, but obviously someone did this beforehand. Um, I think you have to be really, really careful um, not to damage this piece of trim here. Um, you may even have to take your door card off if you're really worried about it. I think you might be able to just pull this piece up and out of the way um, once you loosen up the top bit. So that might be one strategy. I'm going to try that on the other side because the other side does not have this bit broken. Um, and then, yeah, basically all you have to do is pull the other seal out and you'll be able to see the screws. There's three screws, one, two, three. So just make sure you undo all of those. Um, and then we should be able to put in the new side pillar trim. Happy days. Slightly more complicated than I expected. All right, there you have it. Sorry, I didn't film the process of removing it um, because I had to use both hands. But basically, you just want to be pushing uh, to the back of the car like that and just give it a good little wiggle. Um, and this this um, little slot that it slots into should come loose. So it's not too difficult to remove. It's basically just a press fit. You might need to just pull this um, outer seal up a little bit as well. Um, and now it's time for a bit of a clean, and then we'll um, put in the new uh, the new uh, side pillar trim. All right, so we've got the new one about halfway installed. Um, what I've done is I've actually um, installed it here at the top. So you just want to slide it in at the top here, and then you can push it down. Um, make sure it's in front of this seal, um, and then you can actually just thread this th seal through the little gap there, um, and that should help you do the installation properly so yeah just make sure everything's in the right position um, because otherwise you're going to have a lot of trouble getting it all back together so now what we'll do is we'll just push this seal into the trim there's a little um, locking plastic um, clip just on just on the seal there and that will need to go onto the door so that's what you need to line up um, and then basically just put everything yeah, back together. Alright, so I'm just um, putting those three little screws in for the side pillar trim. Make sure they're nice and tight. Um, this one at the bottom is a little bit tricky. You will need to get the seal out of the way a little bit. Um, but it is totally doable with the seal still there. So just tighten all those up and then um, we can put the seal back in to the side pillar trim. Alright folks, and that is a job done on this side. The side pillar trim is looking brand new. Look at that. It's almost as shiny as this glass. It's pretty crazy how much of a difference it makes. Um, so a bit of a tip here. Uh, put in the top seal over here before you actually screw in the side pillar trim. So put this in and then put the trim um, into there. Uh, you can actually pull out this whole entire seal um, with this in place. So just put that in first because otherwise it's going to be almost impossible to get this part of the seal in because this bulges out a little bit and it's really impossible to get it all in and that's pretty much it i'm going to do the other side and this car is going to look minty fresh with the new rear badge and the new side pillar trim hopefully you enjoyed that video if you like the look of this then give me a like and i will see you next time on louis garage